hey guys uh, welcome back to the channel in this video we'll be solving this second problem of uh, finding the maximum de depth so let's go through this <clears throat> so here you can see the code uh, following code is given to us uh, we will see the description what it wants so you are given a valid xml document and you have to print the maximum level of nesting it in in it okay so we have to <clears throat> figure out what is the number of nesting level of nesting it's there in xml document uh, take the depth of the root as zero and you keep on uh, uh, measuring it how many uh, how much depth it is having so the first line n will be there which uh, gives you the number of lines in xml document then the next n lines will uh, contain the xml document so that will be the input and then output format uh, we have to give the single in single line the integer value of the maximum level of nesting in the xml document okay so same example you can see here <coughs> uh, six number of lines so total six lines are there this is our xml document inside you can see there is one level of nesting okay so feeds child are title subtitle link and updated that's all so level of nesting is one <clears throat> if you keep on going inside you keep on increasing your level of depth okay that's what you can say here the root is the feed tag so the depth is zero and the title subtitle uh, link updated all the tags have depth of one so the maximum depth is one so we, we have to calculate the maximum depth now you can see this is the sample code given to us the library e tree uh, elementary library <coughs> sorry then uh, maximum depth is something we have to use uh, it's a global type of variable you can see here so it will be accessible accessible with uh, anywhere global means uh, it will not be defined within the function itself it can be defined anywhere in the program okay it can be used you can say uh, global local means you can use the the variable within the function itself that's the kind of example you can imagine so global max depth is global variable so we can we can use it inside this and you, we don't even have to pass the 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 value of uh, max depth to this uh, main because it's a global variable okay then you have a main function here you can see the value of n is taken input then there is a variable uh, blank variable is it is made uh, it's called xml and for all the, the the each line it is taking the input in each line you can see that this for loop uh, uh, runs for range of n so for each line it is taking the feed uh, uh, all the lines line by line it is storing in xml variable then it is converting into string and then you are getting the the you it is sending the value of uh, get root means right to root value in tree as well as the level minus one to depth function you can see that the tree is your uh, main xml document from there it is sending the root which is feed here feed is sent as an element here in depth function and level is set to minus one which is set sent here you can see that and we have to complete the depth uh, uh, function and then at finally it will print the maximum depth okay so so that's that's the basic funda is giving uh, he he has given some sample code and we have to make use of that we can't change it okay and so you can see uh, you might have got the feel like uh, how many uh, how much depth is there now what is the way what is the approach see we can count uh, the number of childs first of all uh, in feed so that will give you the one level of nesting then titan can also have its uh, child so for that also you can check uh, the number of childs how many it is there then uh, subtitle can also have link can also have it, it can go on and on right it can go inside the title then inside title there can be some other uh, uh, child then then it goes in child by child by child like if feed is your uh, grandfather title is your father then title's child will be 
son and child's uh, son would be grandson type of it can go on and on same thing you can imagine with this guy as well this guy as well this guy as well so you have to keep on running for loops again and again right so that is not a correct way but we what we can do is we can use the recursion okay we can we can refer it to the same function again for checking the depth so let's do that first what i'll do is if if the length uh, uh, is greater than 0 uh, okay so we have seen in the last uh, problem that i used a uh, lm lm is our uh, node now lm dot find all find all mm, what was that this is how bracket uh, dot double slash so did this will give you all the all the element how many elements are there okay and uh, what i'll do is i'll uh, i'll count it i'll count i'll do the length length of it if that length is uh, greater than 0 means what it will do it will element what is element element is your feed feeds children you are checking by this line this line we have seen we have done this in previous example as well a uh, previous problem this finds out all the lists all the all the childs if that is greater than 0 if the length of that is greater than 0 length will be 1 2 3 4 4 so if it is greater than 0 you change you update the uh, level okay so level will be equal to level plus 1 right that will be correct i i think you can imagine it so we are right now here here inside this so level has been updated now uh this is the level we have to exactly update the max depth how you gonna uh, uh, update the max depth so inside here only uh, no inside let me here i think if what i'll do is if level <coughs> is greater than equal to max depth If level is greater than max, uh, yeah, it is correct. Max depth, then we will update the max depth. Okay. So what I'll do is a max depth equal to level plus one. Why I'm doing plus one? Because a uh, level value is set to minus one here. So minus one will come here. and here the level gets updated to 0 uh, by and max width is 0 so max width will become 1 okay so because it is sending minus 1 from here to here that's why i am doing this plus 1 here else i would have done level equal to max depth okay i hope you are understanding uh, now level has been updated now for now i'm going to recursive recursive mode i'll go for i uh, in uh, in lm for i in lm so now i am i will be going element wise now i'll check for this guy if there is any level uh, depth or not so what i'll do is i'll call the same function which i am in right now which is this depth and i'll pass the parameters what i and level okay so you can see that again what will happen so what happened here first it checks whether all the uh, whether it is having uh, the feed is having all the uh, any 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 child or not that find lm find all dot means it will length wise it will find whether it is greater than 0 or not it will update the level and if the level is greater than equal to max depth it will update the max depth and then it will go inside the the root and it will check for each element each tag title it will go here title it will go and it will uh, uh, here the title will be and level will be updated and it will go again to depth 
now in title it will uh, globally max topic global variable it will check for all the elements inside title if it is greater than zero it will increase the level as well as it will update the max depth then it will come to for loop again okay then it will see how uh, if there is any element inside this title or not okay if there will be it will go inside okay if not it will not go okay so now what is happening element second term will come here subtitle then subtitle it will check for uh, the same thing okay same thing it will check for whether it is having any max depth or not if it is having then and then only it will update this if condition is you should look at right it will check for each of the uh, the the title inside title whether this condition is met or not if this condition met then and then only it will happen okay else it will go to the next guy this for loop for loop will go to next guy and it will see whether there is any child or not in this if condition if there is not it will again update the value of i okay it will go to link whether it is there or not so it will check for again if it is there it will go inside it will go inside and it will check the the childs of link okay until it will it will not find any nesting and then it comes back to this uh, for loop i hope you are able to see that it's kind of recursion i made okay it took me a lot of time <laughs> to to go through this recursion type of uh, for uh, for uh, recursion type of programming because i was uh, what i was doing is i was uh, simply going inside in depth all the time so i wrote around 3 4 5 for loops and then i thought it is not working out i means uh, it can go to any level of nesting right that's why i thought uh, this is the best way like recalling this function again uh, let me run it so both the sample cases are passed you can see here uh, i'll show i'll show you this first case is easy uh, there are no extra child but this sample test case second uh, first one if you will see i'll extend it so here you can see the feed thing okay feed inside feed it will come it will look for all the all the childs for so this if condition will be met so level will be increased and accordingly max depth will be increased but when it will come to each child you can see uh, in for loop this title it will see title it will go then it will go inside it will see that if condition is not met because the uh, it is not having any child right so it will not uh, it will not be executed inside if any, if uh, statement then i value will be uh, what subtitle again uh, this in if condition will not met if it will come uh, from the top then again it will not met in link again it will not met in updated then it will met in uh, meet in entry okay when this i value will be entry then it will go inside and it will see that the the it is having uh, its child which are author question and description so inside that it will increase the level first of all and then this uh, uh, this uh, this for loop will now run for this author question and description so first author it will check so author is not having any children so this condition will not be met then question then description and if description is not met and it will come back this for loop will come back for next guy, next uh, child okay so that is how it will perform and uh, finally when this for loop is done this uh, this uh, function will be executed and since the max depth is global variable that's why it will print it we don't have to return from here okay let's submit the code so you can see it is much more flexible so all the test cases are passed if you want to see you can see the other test cases as well so we have completed the xml challenges uh, here you can see all the test cases if you want you can use the hackos five echoes for this you can see here feed then entry is having three childs then this entry is having three childs uh entry then author this you can see that it is it is it will work so 
uh, here um, uh, this entry is completed here then this entry is completed here this entry is completed here so they are having i think there are more never if there is more level of nesting i can see yeah here you can see then entry is there and it's author question and type uh, are uh, the the and then description they are the childs of entry and inside type you can see this is the subtypes super subtype uh, they are the uh, grandson type so the level of nesting is uh, what you can see is three okay so one uh, then two then here you can three this okay nesting is there so three level of nesting is there uh, let me give you uh, one more so here you can see one level of nesting two level of nesting only two level of nesting uh, then here you can see uh, there is uh, one more so one mm, two mm, entry inside entry two uh, then three why I am not able to see hmm one level, second level. Hmm. I think second level only. Why it is having three? So here you can see one, two, three, two, two. Yeah, two it is. And then here one, two. Three, four, uh, four is there. Yes, yeah. So you can see that uh, all the test cases. If you will see, it it will it it will make sense. So it's kind of difficult to understand. It took me time, some time to uh, realize it. Uh, it was difficult for me as well. Uh, hopefully, you will get the feel. It's a recursion type of uh, programming we have done here. Although this is uh, comes in easy kind of uh, uh, problem, but uh, uh, it is uh, for me it was uh, something new and usually we have not done this kind of uh, programming so far a recursion type so uh, so this was it the maximum depth let's go to the next uh, problem now